half past 11 and I'm on my way to the food station again because today I'm gonna buy a P-bone which is short for plastic trombone. So when you first arrive in London the crossovers can be a bit confusing but I think the British have thought of that too because they are really conveniently telling you where you have to look. So we have to look right here, nothing's coming and then look left. So that's really funny. So now I'm walking inside Regent's Park. I've just finished my lunch at a sort of a giraffe restaurant. It was a very good lunch. Uh, actually it was an English brunch with uh, scrambled eggs, uh, vegetarian, uh, uh, vegetarian sausages and all that sort of stuff. A little too much for me and that's not something I say very often. So uh, the Regent's Park is one of the parks of London. London has very much parks I read just. So uh, let's see what it is. Oh and in my other hand you see what I just bought. It's a pea bone. It's not that I especially came to London to buy the pea bone but if I'm here why don't buy one? Uh, it's a yellow one and I'm very curious how it will play. And also, here's the gift friend of mine. And it's a great gift, it has been very helpful already. It's a map of London, which can be uh, crumbled and you can tear it. And it is uh, resistant against rain. So it's very handy, so thank you Marloes. As you can see, this part of the garden is very nice. With flowers and all sort of stuff. And fountains. Over there is a large fountain. I can't get it focused. And all the way in the back, also a fountain. And I just read that this park is one of the most, um, the less visited parks. So uh, if you want quiet and peace, they say go over here. And indeed, I came out of a busy city center of London, and here is almost nobody. So it's a real nice contrast for me. There's also a sort of a restaurant festival over here, Taste London. And I didn't know, but I just walked through the park and there was a guy asking me if I'm from the press. And I said, no, why? Uh, well, he thought it was a camera stand or something. But I said it was my trombone and then I couldn't pass through. So. Therefore I'm just visiting the park. So after walking through the Regent's Park, now I'm entering uh, Queen Mary's Park. Which is uh, especially known for its roses. As I just read on some sign. So when we enter we already see the roses. Let's see what it brings. I filmed the last fragment I saw a squirrel and uh, for me that's quite special because you don't see them very often in the Netherlands and now I'm on a sort of a flower island here still in the same park and well it all looks uh, well maintained and very nice what can I say oh maybe you wonder why I uh, speak English in this uh, video log well, uh, except that everyone can understand me who wants to, it's also because I'm curious whether my uh, Dutch accent will fade away in the few weeks that I am here in, uh, in London. So let's see. It's really funny because everywhere I come, people are asking me, uh, are you from the Netherlands? So I was walking down Warwick Avenue on my way to Little Venice. And I think now I'm actually at Little Venice. So I see some boats here. At the water side, I'll show you. But for what I can see now, well, it doesn't really impress me. But maybe if all comes to life at a sunny day, then it's really beautiful. I'm home again. I uh, again did some shopping so that I can actually cook. And also, uh, 
brought some uh, typical British things, at least I think. The gingerbread man and uh, traditional Scottish shortbread, which I've tasted uh, earlier in, sh in Scotland. Um, but now I think it tastes slightly different, so maybe this is not the real one. And the gingerbread, I tasted one and that was really, really sweet, so I don't know yet whether I really like it. And then this one, maybe I've noticed that I sound a little sick, uh, and that's true because my hay fever is really heavy since I've arrived here in London. So I hope that this will help me. They promised me that it was very good in the shop, so let's see. And then of course, the pea bone, it became the, became the yellow one, Ooh, and well, this is it. I'm really curious how it will sound. Uh, I've tried it a little bit in the shop with the mouthpiece with which it came. That was not really impressive, but maybe with my own mouth mouthpiece and in a good uh, location it will sound better. So let's see. And also a little important uh, converter, because my own converter didn't work for my laptop. And this one does. So this was it for today. I don't know yet what I'm going to do tomorrow. Bye bye.